Hi, I'm Hugh Armstrong, Business Development Manager with Bayer Crop Science. It's wonderful to be here in the Adelaide Hills today with some mud underfoot and some rain clouds in the sky because it's a stark contrast to the 2018-2019 season, uh, which we saw quite a lot of contrasts and challenges uh, from the weather in a lot of the areas where we're growing grapes. In particular, early in the season, it was a, quite a delayed start to bud burst. And then we saw uh, a few extreme events of frost in some areas and then hail and storms in the early part of the season, which did do some damage to canopies and fruit in that early part of the season. And following that, it was pretty much a hot, dry season. So in a lot of areas, we were starting with low soil moisture and then we had very high temperatures and very low rainfall. So that put a certain amount of stress on the vines and certainly a certain amount of stress on the growers and managers as well. So we acknowledge the difficulties that people have come through to manage that season. From an insect point of view, we saw an increase in the area of phylloxera. So a new area of phylloxera was detected in Southern Victoria. With downy mildew, we saw an infection period in in the South Australian Riverland area, which wasn't expected because it was a drought year and uh, we did see an early infection and that, that had some, some impact in, in some vineyards in that, that region as well. The other area of interest is the leaf roll viruses and, and the grapevine Pinot Gris virus, which uh, we're learning more about. And with vineyards getting older, those can be, be an issue as well. And finally, um, given it was so hot and dry, botrytis wasn't a big issue apart from uh, some areas in the southern part of WA very late in the season pre-harvest. So in summary, a pretty tough season, but prices have been good and growers should be commended for coming through this 2019 vintage and uh, looking forward to the future. In Bayer, we've been very active communicating with growers about how to effectively use the new biological fungicide Serenade Opti over the last 12 months and it's been really interesting to talk to people about how to use this as a late season botrytis option and also um, we've been very busy with some new research projects for other pests and diseases. Alongside that we've developed quite a few new educational tools and videos on the area of spray application so look out for those ones as they come through. And just finally, uh, also Bayer's now become the largest single investor in R&D in agriculture globally. So we'll be starting to see some of the benefits of that expanded capacity from a scientific point of view, and we'll look forward to that in, in the future. There's lots of exciting things ahead for us, and uh, we'd like to engage with you on, on those topics. So please get in touch with us via our website or our technical helpline or through your local representative.